Oh, let me start the recording. All right, so we're going to add the hair to a pour. And I'm just adding the gel medium in both places. He's on really thin paper to help put him down. Now this is thin, thicker than the tortoise because this is layers of paper. I started with uh, just copy paper and I added map paper, music paper, um, napkin tissue that's been stamped or jelly printed. I don't feel like he's got enough under him. He will lose his shimmer, I think, with the gel medium like we saw on the turtle. But I think we can get it back for him. And add the details in the eyelashes. Okay, so let's put the glue away. Let's check it out and see. I was trying to see if any of these maybe a more. The word a more is kind of cute. Yeah, I don't like the glossy Mod Podge. Um, I'd rather use the varnish on top and then make it glossy if I want it glossy. And the other stuff, the mediums that I use wouldn't work as well on the gloss, I don't think. This is kind of in pink and yellow. I kind of like how it pops right down there with the exclamation point. Oh yeah, I'm not a very good stamper. push hard enough and I don't get a clear image. Okay, so we like Amore there. Alright. I'm just going to stick it down. And it'll get varnish around it, so it'll
it won't be going anywhere when I'm done. Now on this one, I may have to use the triple thick. Okay, let me dry this real quick. Um, the silicone will beat up. Most of the silicone is off this one. But it's going to get covered in matte medium. and uh, It beads up like oil. You have to clean it off which I've already started doing on these. But I probably, this corner feels like it's got some oil on it. All I'm going to do is take like a, and you know what I'm getting this green from? That vivid, remember that green paint? I'm telling you, it just doesn't set or cure. That's what's right here is that green paint. From the Vivid. That's what I'm picking up. Uh, the other canvas, what I did was uh, washed it with soap and water after I... But this one didn't have very much on it. So, let's start. I'm going to start up here with purple. where that black was. And then I'm going to work down into a teal. Because there's kind of both on this one. And then we will put the magicals back on after we're done. And I have, let's see. This is a skinny marker. But I can blend it still. purple in there. Okay. I don't really have a magenta. So, let's go with the. I'm cleaning my fingers before I go down here.
And when these dry, they're permanent. to that turquoise. I'm going to add some depth to his face in here. gray Still working on the nose I'm actually going to take the black come down here I'm going to have to use this Indian red. I'm not going to add too much to the sides here. Just try to define. I'm going to go back in. This is supposed to look like a kind of a tattoo. I'm going to add that back in in the burgundy. I don't want to lose that pattern completely. And then there's this cream. I'm going to add some color in here too. I don't want the pink. I'm thinking the turquoise. No, he's not. I think he's not going to be lost on the background at all. Um,
think I might try the purple on this side. backwards. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is take a damp baby wipe and pull some of that back. And then come in, maybe with a little I think all you let the magicals come back in. Okay. His marking up here back. done. Okay. Put those back. Okay, now I think I think he's good. I think it's time for some of the magicals to do their magic. To add some of the shimmer back. And I'm just adding it in those places where I want to enhance that color. No orange, no brown. All right, I need this black because that's kind of got that iridescent purple. there. Let me put a little here. Kind of wherever I had purple. And I'm going to put a little right in here. Let's try that.
trying to dry up a line in here, like a shadow. Shimmer back. Okay, so we need the rusty line, and we need the teal that's more blue. Yeah, that's it. One of these teals has got more green and one's got more blue. Yeah, he's starting to, and he shimmers. So I'll put that back in there. I'm gonna get that green. which has got the gold in it. And I'll let those blend in places. Okay. Some of that green's coming down in here. But mostly it's the teal. I actually think I like some of this green in here too. It's the gold in this green that's so pretty. And it'll play up nice against that purple, the green. Okay. The lids on those. We don't have a really bad accident. Just rather put all that on canvas. Gonna give her big eyelashes, Orla.
Okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit to the eyes. He's going to need highlights too. There's his highlight for his eye. I think I'm going to sign him in white over here and then put the purple magicals to kind of dull my signature. I'll let that dry and then I'm gonna put some of that purple black whatever that stuff that's coming out so purple there actually is a purple I find it I didn't make the purple here it is I think I'll just take a wet brush and get a little bit on the table when it's time. Maybe mix this with that. We'll see. But this is a very almost purple in there. I think I want, speaking of this purple, I think I want this to trail down. Okay, about ready for the eyelashes. Let's try this. That's what I wanted. I wanted kind of a blend of the purple into the, the two together. Okay. I'll start. Okay. We'll have to work on that 
with the finer pen in just a minute. For some reason, I cannot do the other eye. getting too big okay too far over Okay, so now we're going to take another smaller this you probably can't see Is that okay or too much? It's got to be almost too much to get it to show up is the problem. Okay, let's take okay, just a little bit of that purple. I'm going to get a little bit of this black. down my name, the white. Makes it look like I signed it in a lavender. Just makes it blend a little bit better. And I'm going to come under these letters and put a little shadow, maybe. Alright. I'm going to stop that. Okay. There's something else I was going to do. Oh, I know. It needs its nose back. Mm 
in fact, I'm going to come in and put the white in and then come back with the gray. Got a little too dark in a couple places. and just knock it back. And like I said, that's just me being close up picky. Okay, so see how that kind of made my name lavender? So it blended with the canvas. Didn't stand out so much. So we just need to varnish her So I'm going to take triple thick. I'm going to find the one that's open. And it's too thick for the first coat. So I'm going to take the, what's little bit of this is left and a wet brush and start with a coat. First of all, I want to get that really. glued on and I'm going to brush on a thin coat which will really make it not be as dull because right now some of the flat colors are dull. I'm going to avoid her eyelashes right now for a moment. I'm afraid they're going to smear. So I'm going to get the sides. So I'm going to avoid rubbing too hard on my name because that white paint pen will come off sometimes with the varnish. And so what I'm going to do is just dab on her eyes right now and not pull. I'm not worried about the other part so much.
Uh, some of that green moved. It didn't do that with the other gloss. Like I said, if I get in those eyes, I know I can smear her eyelashes. But what I'll do is let that dry and then put another coat. of the triple thick and I probably will add a little of that other gloss to water it down instead of water but that finishes her I actually really like her oh no whiskers you're right whiskers she needs whiskers okay let me dry this and we'll put whiskers Okay. Let it cool down for just a second. Okay, that's a start for that side. I like some of them heavier. Beating up a little bit. take I can kill a new pen like there is no tomorrow let's try these new ones that are over here three a five. Let's try the five.
too much, too, too long. I think, I think they're a little too long in a couple places. Is that all right? Should we throw in a few? Sometimes I throw in a few white areas. All right, that's as good as she's going to get. And when they're dry, I'll put that second coat of varnish on it. Yeah, I think part of the problem is when I'm looking at it, I'm like right on top of it. But when I step back, it's all right as far as whiskers go. In here that I don't like some of it. Maybe if I take, if I soften, I like that a little better. Because you can still see the music. Night Dot. All right.